What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the Street Reporter, episode eight of the Truth Hurts Show. We done been through seven long ass episodes of this. You know, I do this because a lot of people don't understand. It's more to life than just a this video and smoking dead ops. You know, people be going through shit, regular life shit, everyday shit. So on the Truth Hurts show, we speak about shit we going through in the hood, shit we going through in life. You know, motherfuckers in their crib going through real, 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 real struggles. Everybody just talking about the drill culture and shit. So we're going to talk about the drill. We're going to talk about other topics, but it's things going on in life. That, uh, you know, I want to touch on. But NBA Youngboy affiliate, NBA Hearn, his ass came to Chicago. He released pictures in O Block on 63rd and St. Lawrence. He was riding all through the hood. You know, I thought this was crazy. This went wild. This had the internet going in a frenzy. You know, this trended. You know, I want to tell you something, though. I'm not sure if this was trolling, though, because I didn't really see her in any of the pictures. I just seen the areas and shit like that. But if he was there, you know, we got to be careful now. A lot of people say he ain't going to gates here. Just standing in front of there is dangerous enough, you know. They took a chance, you feel me? Uh, but I'm going to say something, though, you know. You got to be careful doing shit like that, you know. Because our life is important. We seen what happened with Takeoff. We just seen what happened with PNB Rock. To want to do that, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's just not the right energy. Ain't really thinking right. You know, we got to be smarter than that. I understand the internet is entertainment. They could be trolling, trying to steal the algorithms. Which I think, you know, might be a smart idea. But at the same time, y'all beefing. It was a man that people respect King Von who lost his life out there, you know. You'll fuck around and get blinked down by a fan fucking around playing like that. The back door, people dropping loads and shit like that. You know, this was dangerous. I want to say something. I don't want people to, you know what I'm saying, get this the wrong way. A thousand likes ain't worth your mama crying. You feel me? Ten thousand comments ain't worth your mama crying. Be very smart about that. You know, I understand this internet shit to get you out your, your body and doing shit. Because Shoebox did it. Look, Shoebox shot a video in the Ops hood with like NBA Young Boy and them beefing. Memo 600 went to Savannah, Georgia. They both did this. But just remember, a thousand likes ain't worth your mama making funeral arrangements for you. You know, we got to be smarter than that. We got to be way, way smarter than that. Was takeoff life worth that argument? Whatever the fuck that argument was about, was his life worth that argument? I want to know that, you know? Make sure y'all hit the like button too, man. We're going to take a pause for a second hit the like button because we ain't get that thousand likes. Make sure we get a thousand likes today. Hit the like button for me, man. Shit crazy. Was takeoff life worth that argument? Was that fucking argument that serious in life where it was important enough where it took away takeoff life? I'm going to tell y'all something that I found fucked up. And this shit got my head cloudy. Takeoff on a t-shirt. Can, can y'all believe that? Takeoff is on a fucking t-shirt. Census. That young man was stolen from his family. I don't know if people realize that he was stolen from his family. And nobody want to tell what happened because it's street shit, you know? It, you a bitch-ass nigga if you tell a motherfucker what happened. So you're just going to eat it and deal with it. Hopefully you get to get back. It's something about that that's just a little weird and shit, you know? We waiting on Offset to speak on this. We waiting on Cardi B. We, they understand the whole world want them to say something. The whole world waiting on them to say something. But, you know... The world love this internet shit. They love the entertainment world. And, you know, they words can console a lot of people, you know, on some real shit, man. I tell people that, you know, for some reason, this street shit real. You know, that's why I had to tell, you know, myself that this street shit is a lot, you know. My life didn't start changing. My life ain't start changing until I stopped acting like a little motherfucking kid. Until I started growing the fuck up, I started trusting God, I started setting goals and expectations for myself. That's the moment my life changed, you know? That's the moment my life changed, when I realized that, you know, the shit I'm doing ain't right, you know? It's goals and shit. I want things in. You're not going to get that shit, that playing game. I say that shit. Y'all be playing, you feel me? Make sure y'all hit the like button, man. 
A lot of people just concerned with the wrong thing, you know, bragging about getting high. I never understood that. Okay, you smoke, bro, we was high as hell, bro. We hit, man, look, bro, we smoked eight, three, fives, bro. We hit, man, bro, we had a whole pint of lean. Motherfucker had perks. Motherfucker said mollies. Motherfucker. I mean, damn, you bragging about being high? Okay, we get it. Look, look, look. I don't like that shit. Okay, we get it. Yeah, it a good time. But I mean, find something else to brag about. You came first place in this. Tell me about that A you got. Tell me about this good you did. Tell me how you stopped eating junk food for a week. You know, when your goal is y'all had six, three, fives last night, that's when it's just, it's, it's goofy. You know, you got to be smart. Stay out of bullshit, too. That's what I try to do, man. I try to stay out of bullshit. Sometimes it's hard. Bullshit to find. You hit a draw, you win. But you got to try to stay out of bullshit. I, I, I try to do that. That's why you don't see me in internet beeps or anything like that. Because I started realizing that, you know. Being my uh, being my enemy was a goal. You know. Some motherfuckers was, 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 was treating that shit like a goal. I said, man, I ain't... I ain't finna be beefing with nobody on this internet shit. I ain't finna be beefing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna treat life, uh, you know what I'm saying, like the E-way and stay in my motherfucking lane. I ain't looking over here. I ain't looking over there. That's how I block. I treat my blocks that people say all the time. What kind of block style you got? I got the E-way style of block. I stay in my motherfucking lane. I ain't worried about what that dude doing. I ain't worried about what that dude doing. And that's why I ain't crashing. You know, I might slow up sometimes and shit because the traffic slow and shit. But I'm going to get to my destination if you understand what I'm saying. So you got to be smart out here. Women, too. You know, it's more to life than being a pimp. You feel me? It's more to life than being a pimp. You can't fuck everybody you like. Okay, you cannot fuck everybody you like and you can't love everybody you fuck. You understand what I'm telling you? You feel me? Let that register in your head. Be smart about this. You can't fuck everybody you like and you can't like everybody you fuck. And you can't love everybody you fuck. You understand what I'm telling you? Sometimes you got to charge that shit to a game. You got to be smart about this shit. Focus on your goals. You know, I had to do that shit for a minute. It was a, part, it was a point in time in my life where, man, you know, there's motherfuckers around me, homeboys, you feel me, niggas I'd hung with my whole life. Got Saudi at me, man. Truth, you acting funny, man. You don't even fuck with the guys no more, man. What the fuck, bro? You don't even come around, man. Your ass be acting like, you know what I'm saying? And you, what's wrong? You don't fuck with us no more. You know what I'm saying? I had to tell a motherfucker, man, sorry, bro. I want to apologize for me getting distant, you know. But I had goals that required me to, you know, self-distance from y'all, you know. At the moment and shit. This ain't like I left and now I'm trying to come back. But man, it's like, bro, look. I had goals. You feel me? My bad for being distant. But I had goals and it required my full fucking attention. You know? So, sometimes you got to get to what you got to get to. Before you, you know what I'm saying? You can get to playing and shit. You feel me? And remember. This life shit not a joke. It's not a game. You can't come back to this shit. You got one shot at this shit. You got one shot at this shit. You can't be playing with this shit. You got one shot at this shit. You feel me? When your lights off is done, you can't be playing with this shit, man. Okay? Death is permanent and it's random. So you got to let go of all that bullshit. You feel me? That shit permanent. Ain't no coming back. And it's random. It happened at certain times and shit. So make sure people know you love them. Make sure people understand you, man. Try your best to be you. Stop trying to be somebody else. Everybody else taking. You got to be your own motherfucking self. You feel me? Fuck wrong with y'all. Where Lil Dirk at, man? Where the fuck Lil Dirk at? Lil India, what the fuck have you done to Dirk, man? Y'all hit the like button so we can talk about Dirk in a minute. Turn me up on the like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram at Truth Teller TV too. Lil Dirt, his ass fixing his life. His ass rich, but he's still changing his life. You know when you cheat. Look, any motherfucker who got caught cheating or anything like that, social media gotta go. You feel me? That shit gotta go. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know if this is the case, but damn, Dirk, where the fuck you been there? You the culture. You the culture. Like, damn, you been out this shit for a minute. Where the fuck you been at? He gonna come back a change, man. Dirk ass gonna drop a gospel album by the time you come back. Nah, I'm fucking with Dirk. I think he done put in enough work where he can take these kind of breaks, you know? 
He's been living in a fake world for a long ass time. I know this has probably been relaxing therapy for him to just be off the internet and shit like that, you know? He got enough money. He's been trending. Albums been selling and shit like that. So I think he good. People always say, True, why you don't talk about sports? Why I love sports. Shout out to Bear. Justin Fields. Y'all been seeing Justin Fields. Justin Fields has been killing it, bro. Shout out, bro. His ass been running for his life. <laughs> I think the Bears realize that, you know, just not an average quarterback. He a runner. He an athlete. Stop trying to set him in the pocket and act like he Tom Brady and Joe Montana. You know, the last coach did that shit. I think this coach was doing that shit the first four or five games and then realized, you know what, we're going to let this young man play like he played. This is how he played. You feel me? He like to run and do shit like this. I think once they get him some weapons, get him a defense, Bears going to the moon. You feel me? That's just my opinion in this shit. You feel me? Um, but I'm going to keep this short today, you know, because there's a lot of things going on in the culture. Yesterday, I dropped an interview with Jeff Fort family. I thought that interview was impactful. They spoke on a lot of things, and I thought it was true that a lot of people speak on free Larry. It's not a lot of free Jeff. It's not a lot of that conversation, enough of that conversation. So, you know, I think that is strong. These guys, you know, were accused of doing things years, tens and twenties and thirties of years ago. Whatever they didn't did, the child say they didn't did, the crime is done. You know, let them brothers come home. It's time to stop playing. If Donald Trump can pardon Kodak Black, what the fuck Kodak Black need a pardon? Come on, man. Look. And I'm not knocking nobody. He a young dude. Cool. He could have did them little 18 more months. Uh, 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 let's be real now, you know. I think, you know, a guy like Jeff Fort, Larry Hoover, I think they can come home and I think they influence to be strong in the culture, you know. Now, his families that probably don't like that because they're probably the families that are victims. They probably like leave them niggas in jail. But I just think, you know, if it's a such thing as a pardon, which is a second chance, I think them to be the perfect guys for it. I think a lot of people will learn from them. Now, they might not come back and take the streets. The young people might not listen to them and take the streets and, and, and tax everybody. I don't think that's what they own, but I do think they'll have a strong influence on the Internet. You know, we see a lot of people speaking for the coaches like Charleston Whites and shit like that. Imagine Larry Hoover doing the interview. Imagine the Jeff Fort doing the interview. I think things like that is what scares these politicians and the police. And I think that's why that they're still left in there. A lot of people ask me about Larry Hoover. I tell them I looked into Larry case and I want to be honest with you now. And I want the police accused, you know, maybe he did do that. Okay. I think, you know, if he did what they said he did, then, you know, you do the crime, you got to do the time. And that's saying that's how that supposed to go. But the police alleged he did things. If that's the case, cool. But that man had been in jail for a long ass time, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, long ass time. Whatever crime y'all say he committed, I'm pretty sure that was enough time. You know, it's about time for him to come home. And if it ain't enough, if it's a such thing as a pardon, you know, something to give a person a second chance to come home that you believe can do good with that second chance. You telling me a uh, uh, Larry Hoover, you know, his voice won't be stronger in the communities. Everybody might not lead, but like Jeff Fort nephews and them told me the right people to listen. So I just believe, you know, that's too much like right. And when something is too much like right, it's always going to come out wrong. You feel me? In my opinion. But I appreciate the love. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, keep the donations to yourself. I don't need to. Do you know what? I was finna get up out of here. I was finna get y'all my outro. But I just thought about something that I want to share with y'all that I think is very, very, very important. Um, bloggers. I want to talk about that again. Because I keep hearing it. I keep seeing it everywhere I go. Bloggers is so bad for the culture. It's the bloggers. That's Look, it's not the bloggers. Yeah, it's some bloggers that's a little overzealous. I have seen it. Videos where they claiming guys got 80 bodies, 90 bodies. That's John with 20 bodies. You know, those videos. I see it. But everybody ain't like that. It's some bloggers out here that want to see some people eat, want to see everybody win. You got to understand, you got fame on this shit. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of the hatred that come with the bloggers is that, you know, a lot of the urban blog shit is a lot of young black men. You know, this is one lane that's been taken over. By young black people and shit like that. You know, it's a lot of young, you know, other people that do this shit too, but don't let that go over y'all here. 
the same shit we be reporting on is the same shit Fox 32 News report on. You know, if you ain't got a motherfucking problem with Carol Marine or Bob Walters, then you ain't got no problem with me. Stay the fuck out of my DM. Stop asking me to take videos down. Stop asking me to do this. Stop asking me to do that. Show me a DM of your ass asking Dateline to take their shit down. You feel me? Shout out 1090 Jake. He said that too, and I thought that was real because I've been preaching this message for a while. Show me a DM with you in 2020 DM. Show me a DM with you in CNN DM telling they ass to take their shit down. If you ain't gonna show me a DM of you telling they ass to take that shit down, then get the fuck out of my DM. But I appreciate the love. You want to support me, you hit that like button. Bing. You hit that like button, guess what it do? It make my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love. And when you get a chance, I want you to watch my exclusive interview with the Ford family. I think this was a dope interview. It was very impactful. I dropped it in full. You know, a lot of people told me, Troop, some of these interviews, you got to drop some of these in full. As you know, the days are chopping them up. That's cool. Maybe for the real strong, 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 famous ones. But a lot of these interviews, I think, were classic interviews. And a lot of people didn't get to see them in full because they only watched certain clips of certain interviews. So when I think I got a very strong, impactful interview, I'm going to drop it in full from this moment on. But I appreciate the love. It's the only truth. Tell the street boy. Bleh, bleh.